Today, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce the TH and the D separately so that when you pronounce them, you don't switch the sounds and it doesn't sound right to a native speaker. So if that's you and you need help, then keep watching. But first, let me tell you the most important thing that I want to tell you about the TH sound. I don't care if the TH is voice or voiceless because an American will never ask you while you're speaking, hey, was that a voice or a voiceless TH? They don't care as long as the sound is pronounced correctly. Now this is how you pronounce the TH. The tip of your tongue needs to come through your teeth and you can blow some air. Now here's the thing when I say voice or voiceless TH. The voiceless TH are in words like theme, theme, or thick, thick. And that means that my vocal cords are not vibrating. And when I'm saying a voice TH, I'm saying that, then. You should feel a vibration here. Here's where the tricky part comes in for you speakers that are saying a TH as a D. When you do not stick your tongue through your, the tip of your tongue through your teeth and you place it on your alveolar ridge. Now, what is an alveolar ridge? Well, it's like the roll bump or the speed bump behind your front teeth. You should be able to feel a little ridge there and that's called your alveolar ridge. So just think about if I don't actually transfer that D to a TH position. Here's a TH word in the initial position. Thought becomes dot. Completely different meaning, right? Thought. Stick the tip of your tongue all the way through your teeth and blow air over your tongue. Thought, thought. Take a listen on how it sounds in the middle position. Rather, instead of rather, rather. Do you see what I mean? Okay, in the final position, let me see if I can make myself put a D for the TH sound. Saved. I have to think about it. This is what it should sound like. Bathe, instead of Bade. You hear the difference? If you can't hear the difference, just rewind it a little bit and you will hear it slowly, okay? Don't be hard on yourself. You will be able to hear it eventually. I want you to record yourself with some TH words and the D words. And you have to figure out which position are you actually having trouble with? The initial, the middle, or the final position, okay? So figure that out and focus on that. That's all you need to do. And this doesn't mean that you're a horrible speaker. That means that you are aware of your mistakes and you are ready to kill it. Share this video with whoever you think needs it because I want to spread speaking English clear all around the world to help people feel less ashamed of how they speak feel confident about the way they speak English in front of other people, no matter how many mistakes they make. All right, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.